Today we are looking at the selection of MOSFET for a single phase inverter. To select a MOSFET, first we need to find the maximum voltage that appears across it, and also need to find the maximum current that passes through it. First I will give the specification of the inverter, that I am considering. Input voltage is 400 volt. Output voltage is 230 volt RMS, at 50 hertz. Rated power is 2 kVA. Switching frequency is 10 kHz. For an inverter, the maximum voltage appears across the MOSFET will be the same as the DC voltage. So here the maximum voltage is 400 volt. Now the MOSFET required for this application, need to have a voltage higher than 400 volt. For a safety margin, we choose a voltage level 50% higher than this value. So the required voltage rating of the MOSFET will be, 1.5 into 400. That is 600 volt. Now we need to find the maximum current, that passes through the MOSFET. Maximum current is given by, rated power divided by, output voltage. That is 2 kVA divided by, 230 volt. 8.69 amps. But this value is in RMS. To find the peak value, we need to multiply it with root 2. So the peak current will be 12.29 amps. So the MOSFET need to have a current rating, higher than 12.29 amps. For a safety margin, we take 50% higher than this value. Therefore required current rating would be, 1.5 into 12.29. That is 18.43 amps. So the final rating of the MOSFET is, drain to source voltage of 600 volt or higher, and continuous drain current of, 18.43 amps or higher. Now we will go to our MATLAB simulation, to verify these voltage and current values. This is our grid connected inverter model. We will use this model, to verify the maximum voltage and current values. If you are curious to know how to build this model, I have already made a video on this. I will leave a link in the, i button. You can watch that for more information. This scope here will measure the, voltage across the MOSFET and, current through it. This is the DC input voltage and, I have kept it at 400 volt. I have also set the current reference, corresponding to 2 kVA. That is 12.3 amps. Now we will run the simulation. Open the scope to see the voltage and current values. You can see that the maximum voltage coming is 400 volt. And that is same as DC input voltage. Maximum current is nearly 12.3 amps, which is same as the calculated value. So we have verified that both voltage and current we are getting is, same as the calculated value. Next step is to search for the MOSFET that meets our criterion. We need to see, all the available options, that matches with our voltage and current requirement. For this, I will suggest you, three websites. One is digikey.com. Second one is, mauser.in. And third one is, in.element14.com. There are other websites also, but these are the most popular. You can buy almost all electronic components, from these websites. Now I will just demonstrate, how to search for MOSFET, in digikey.com. Similar way, you can search in other websites also. First open digikey.com. Search here for MOSFET. We will get these many search results. Here we select the first one. Now select, more filters. Choose the required, drain to source voltage. As per our design, required voltage is, 600. Now we need to select the current. Our required value is 18.43 amps. So I select a range of values from, 18.5 amps to 25 amps.
so we have these many options to choose. From these MOSFETs, we need to choose one particular MOSFET that meets our requirements. For that we need to look into the table values that I will explain now. First we look into the availability of the MOSFET. It should be available with required quantity. Next we need to check the cost. Select the MOSFET with minimum price. Next parameter we need to check is the drive voltage and VGS max. Based on this values, we design our gate driver circuit. So according to the voltage capability of the gate driver that you are using, you can select the proper MOSFET. Next parameter is the RDS on. This value should be as minimum as possible, so that the conduction loss in the MOSFET will be minimum. Hence the efficiency of the inverter will be improved. Next parameter is the gate charge and input capacitance. These values should be as low as possible, so that the required gate drive current will be minimum. And hence, we can use low cost gate driver circuits. The final parameter we need to check is the type of package. We need to select a proper package based on available space in the PCB. Type of heatsink we are using, etc. So based on these six parameters, that is availability, cost, gate voltage, RDS on, gate charge and input capacitance, package, we need to choose a MOSFET. It may not be possible to choose a MOSFET that satisfy all these requirement. At that time, we ignore one or two parameters, and based on other parameters, we select the MOSFET. This is the end of this presentation. Thanks for watching.